getting the car turned over. We got to run a good number today, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. We got to be in the 850s because right now our average is like an 858, and we're in like sixth, seventh place. Yep. We are in front of Ruby, but we know when James gets in a tight situation like this, he will go full set to beat us. So we know that after today, if we aren't going to place, we'll probably just go for a seven when we get back to Bradenton tomorrow. Just have fun with the car, right? Yeah, first seven. Yeah. We know the car is capable. We just got to get the tune right. And uh, as far as the tune goes today, we'll kind of show you what we're going to do for that. Okay, so we made our mistakes yesterday and we learned. So we put the same ramp in from Bradenton, except ending at 11.0 and carrying that all the way out. We're going to carry out 11.3 dome pressure. So we'll see how this does. Let's go get in line for our first pass. All right, we're out here at South Georgia Motorsports Park. This is going to be pass number one, which we may only get one today because we have such a long drive to Bradenton. We're going to probably shoot the whole way there tonight, stay in our own bed, and uh, hit Bradenton first thing in the morning, which we don't have to actually get there till 2 now because some people are only driving halfway compared to all the way. James already... James ran a 851, so if we don't run anything better than that, it's gonna be hard to win. We got Parker up here for the burnout. It stuttered on the two-step, and so I stayed in it longer and left late. I mean, this time wouldn't have counted anyways. But here's the slip. One of my fastest 60 foot so far, which is a one two seven. I mean, she was moving out here. That just to... goes to show how much better the track is here in the air. Yeah. Because we were running 133s at every other track. Yep. So we came here, 127 with the same So let's uh, take a half a degree or so of timing out. I think a degree. A full degree? Yeah, maybe even a degree and a half. Okay. If we, we could probably get away with doing a degree in our short track because that's where your time is made. Yeah. The faster you get to the eighth, you don't make up as much. I also shifted super late. I was like 200 RPM more than what I usually shift at. Yeah. But it looks like on our time slip, almost all the time we picked up was in the first eight, pretty much. So, all right, let's turn her down a little bit. Yeah. All right, so for this pass, what we're gonna do is we went back, took the uh, point three out here, so a tiny bit lower dome. And I went to the timing curve and at 6,000 RPMs right here, went ahead and took out, you know, a degree of timing, so. Hopefully that gets us in the 50s again, we have to. If we don't make a 50 this time, we'll probably have to take a 20 second pass. So we really can't break out on this. Got Doug Cook, Danny Cook, getting in the lines, hopefully do another hit. Number 
47. Oh my gosh, looks like we got the 20 for the day. No. We broke out again at an 847, so we're decreasing the timing a little bit more on the big end. And I'm gonna try and short shift it a hair and pull the shoot a little bit early. A couple different factors to make us go a little bit slower. But God, we just, this car just wants to go fast. No matter what we're throwing at it, it just wants to go faster and faster. So I think we just need to stop doing this bracket racing and jump into like an unlimited class or something like Garrettson and just have fun and keep going faster and faster. All right, let's do this. Another lick. All right, Zach, can you give her a little, little one of these? Help us out. <laughs> Rub it in, add a little weight, slow <laughs> us down. I forgot to include it in the other video, but here's our Dr. Pepper count, guys. Looking pretty strong on day four. What are we at? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 59 Dr. Peppers. We're still thirsty. And we're still thirsty, and we still got another day tomorrow. Ford Park. need to run our Hellcats, but I'm glad we got a lineup today, man. Yeah, man. That was fun. And you ran 853. Did I? Yes, How did. do you know? I saw it on the board. You saw it on the board? You're behind me? <laughs> I love it. I love it, awesome, dude. All right, well, let's get on the road together and we'll bomb down to Bradenton. Sounds good. All righty. I'll All see right. you in a bit. Lights at Race Clip have Dr. Pepper looking good. Oh, God, I love the paint on this thing. All right, guys, that wraps it up for day four. We uh, put down a good number after our third pass. I don't know if it's going to put us into solid rankings, but. Hey, dude, who's going to be ahead, you or me? You are like a. 57 0 I'm 57 7. So 0 .007. In front of Ruby? Yeah, front oh of, yeah. no, so we're dude. We're going to out tomorrow. Yeah, we are. I well, say we run next to each other all the time. We have tomorrow. to. We Just have every to. Every pass will just pull up on each other. 100%. It'd be so fun. It would be. All righty, dude. Let's Unless do I wouldn't have done it on you, then. Uh, I know. I know. Mark. Well, I know we're going to be definitely sitting on the cards more than one pass because that's what you got to do at the last you know, day. Yeah, you got to fight for it. Oh, yeah. All right. Good tomorrow. Job, baby. You too. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. 
buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.